Hi. Just so we understand each other. This is my new inverter. It does not communicate with my other inverters. This one has newer firmware, which also has newer software and some hardware components that are different than the old inverters. And at first I wasn't happy because it wouldn't communicate and it wasn't doing what I thought it should. So I did reach out to Signature Solar and what they're doing is they're sending me two inverters with the new hardware and software in it. So I'll have the, the new firmware in the two inverters. And they are going to get me my other inverter replaced also when they get the stuff in stock. So Signature Solar is reaching, you know, and this is at no cost to me. So basically, they're going to, and they said that they'll, um, if they get the parts in stock, they'll just rebuild one of these, or they'll just send me another new inverter, and then I send in my old ones back. So, and this is at no cost to me, the shipping there and, you know, them shipping the units here me shipping the units back that's all covered by signature solar so we are going to have four inverters with the new firmware and we'll be able to hook everything all up together so i just wanted to get this out there and i've had comments oh the grow watts are horrible these grow watts have never let me down okay these inverters, the only thing that has happened is they changed the firmware. If you look in here, these boards are different. And I guess they changed the board inside the inverter itself also. This is supposed to be the, the newer one, which is um, the US model. So what they're doing is they're updating all of my inverters. And the truth be known, these guys have always provided all of my power needs. They have never let me down, ever. And I have had other inverters that, you know, that they're not on the wall for a reason. Okay, my whole unit, you know, everything would be shut down on me. I'd be like, what the heck's going on now type of thing. Well... That doesn't happen with these, you know. They're always running, they're always doing their thing. So, and we're gonna keep you updated. We're, we're supposed to get the inverters on Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll get them up and get them all hooked up and we'll do a video of it after the fact. But some of the people are commenting and saying, hey, you know, grow lots are horrible. No, these grow lots have never missed a beat. Okay, these are the 5,000 ES models. We are going to have four of them with the, the new firmware in, with the new, com you know, hardware components. So, as far as the uh, other stuff that people are commenting, oh, you're going to have other issues and whatnot, I've never had an issue with them supplying power. The power has been there. It has been consistent. It has never let me down. And I'm running a lot more power than a lot of people. I know that. So, if you want something reliable and good, get these 5,000 ESs. They have worked without a, a glitch. The only thing happened is when I bought the new unit, the one that's turned off at the moment, 
the uh, it would not communicate with the others. That is the only thing that's happened. And that will be remedied here in the next few days, you know. So by this time next week, we'll have three of them all hooked up and running. And this one over here, this fourth one, is on battery charge only mode at the moment. So if its firmware isn't replaced right away, I, I mean, I would like it as soon as possible. It's not going to be a big deal, but having the three that I've got all connected together up and running, that's going to happen within the next three to four days. And part of that's shipping, you know. It, the first person I talked to at Signature Solar was not very up on what he was talking about. And the second person, the next day that I talked to at Signature Solar, worked on putting a plan together to get me new inverters and uh, getting everything talking and making sure everything was going to work for me. So, sometimes you end up on the phone with somebody that might not have as much experience as somebody else. So, but just call back, send them. I, I sent an email, you know, is how I did it. And I, you know, they, I was told, oh, we'll get you in touch with, you know, and I said, hey, I've already talked to, you know, and they didn't know what they were talking about. Okay. So then I ended up talking to, I guess, the guy that was in charge of the tech support. And he's the one that got this all in motion. So they do read your emails. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe.